And now, my dear catechumens, I address you, your own sponsors and catechists, and this entire community, having spoken in your favor. The Church, in the name of Christ, accept their judgment and call you to the Easter sacrament. First of all, I'd like to recognize the presence of many of my brother priests who are mixed with their own parishioners here in, here in the pews of the cathedral. Thank you for making the journey to come with your people at this special ceremony, the rite of the elections of the catechumens. Thank you for coming with them. I will divide in my, I have, need to have two homilies because half of the people speak English and half speak Spanish. When is your turn when I speak in Spanish? You can rest in the spirit. You are coming here, the catechumens, with your sponsors and some friends to this special occasion. Maybe for some of you, it's the first time that you are here to, in our cathedral. And this is the, the mother church of the diocese. And you are here, coming here in the preparation for Easter. And the Easter, in the, this time of preparation, we hear the, the psalm saying, taste and see the goodness of the Lord. And that is from here on, how you prepare yourselves for Easter, the Easter vigil, to taste and see the goodness of the Lord. Is beyond knowing things, is beyond reason that experience, because the Psalms say, taste and see. You already have the knowledge. You have the desire of your heart, but on Easter Vigil is the, the time when you will be able to taste and see the goodness of the Lord through the life of the sacraments. Baptism, confirmation, and first communion. And you are so lucky that you don't need to go through confession. You're going baptism, confirmation, first communion, boom. It's a grace, but it's a grace that needs to be experienced by heart. Discover Jesus in the sacraments, how Jesus is with us in the, in the life of the church through the life of the sacraments. How you will be able to discover there the richness, the goodness of the Lord in each one of the sacraments and especially discover Him in the host and the wine, the body, and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The only way to do that is when you open yourself to see with the eyes of your heart through faith and enjoy that moment. It's a moment who will need to fill you with joy because you will experience what Jesus is praying to God, that, Father, I pray for you that they will be one as we are one with you. How that unity could be possible? Through the mystery of love in the Eucharist. Right there. Right there. Jesus is present there in the Eucharist. Many people follow Jesus when he was with us. But they were unable, unable to discover in him that he was the Son of God. Why? Because they didn't see him with the eyes of faith. They were only expecting miracles and power coming from him, but they were unable to see with the eyes of faith. And many times, unfortunately, that the same thing happened with 
with many people that are unable to discover Jesus in the sacraments with the eyes of faith. It's time in this Lent season for all of you who will become members of the church, in which Jesus is the cornerstone, is the life of the church, to prepare yourselves, not with your heart, not with your mind, excuse me, but with your heart. Because Jesus, through the sacraments, is life, is life, is love, is joy. And we need to reflect that. I choose them not to stay here, but going out. For what purpose? That they can help us and preach the good news. The good news of what? A heart who will be filled with the love and life and joy of Jesus. It's a challenge, a beautiful challenge for all of you to surrender yourselves to that beautiful mystery and experience and taste and see the goodness of the Lord. You have been in classes preparing yourselves for that occasion. You have been reading books, maybe watching DVDs, but now is your time to let your heart to be free to prepare yourselves for that beautiful experience of life who is coming to us through the mystery of the sacraments. Jesus himself, and ask him and pray to him that during this time he help you to open your eyes, the eyes of your heart, that you will discover him in the life of the sacraments. Let him come to you. It's he who offered himself to come to you. And you have time to prepare yourself with humble hearts, cleaning the house and praying to him that the day an Easter vigil, when you will be ready to celebrate all the sacraments, you will really, really taste and see the goodness of the Lord.